Welcome distinguished visitors from Earth. As representative of the Martian Alliance, I am honored to serve as liaison between us. And I, Captain Matt Stone of the Earth Space Fleet, also look forward to working with our Martian neighbors. Our history is your history, in a manner of speaking. Long ago we were aggressive and warlike, and there came a time when our weapons grew so powerful that we feared destroying ourselves. Well the Earth, was much like that, yes, but we overcame our warlike tendencies. We did too, after creating a nearly unbeatable fighting machine. Our governments knew they had to get along or we would destroy ourselves. Then what happened? How did your civilization get destroyed, forcing you underground? The problem is that we became pacifists, putting away our weapons of war and thus our means of defending ourselves. The fighting machines were stored away and we turned it to the arts and sciences. Then the Zorkons came. Did they use a time device like they did with us? No at that time they had no such device. Since we had little means to protect ourselves they moved in, attacking men, women and children with a ferocity that you cannot imagine. Look into the crystal for a short history of the war.
You destroyed your own cities? How could you? We had no choice. The Zorkans were killing everything in their path. We burned everything with a few fighting machines that our armed forces got running. Why did you say that your history is our history? Your team on Earth is in great danger. Some of our people fled to Earth, possibly fueling certain creation myths. The Zorkons, after a Martian year of fighting, withdrew, with few of their people left as well. They stole a fighting machine, which we detected on Earth. Our ship is very advanced as well. I believe that their machine can easily be defeated. I thank you for the presentation and hope to work together as we have a common enemy. It will be an honor working with you. We hope to reclaim the surface in the future. In the meantime, feel free to search the relics for clues about the Zorkons. Commander's Log The repairs to the shuttle are coming along well and will be done in a few minutes. It was more like an odd software glitch than any real damage. We can have the ship flying within minutes. All of us feel the strain of being about to go into battle. That about does it. The ship is ready to go. It is almost as if this was done deliberately. I will go get the professor. We will need weapons and explosives. Already. I will set you down in a clearing. I have a jamming device to keep the fighter from seeing us and shooting us down. You go in, set the charges and we go back. Then we make out a battle plan. I still need to talk to Sally and explain what we will be doing. Make it quick. I know you girls cannot stay here long and we have a fierce battle ahead of us. You will be in charge while we are gone, Sally. Of course you will be the only one here. Well hurry it up. I don't like being surrounded by wild beasts and thinking I could just dissolve into history at any minute. We will be right back. I will take communicators and weapons. It is supposed to be an easy walk in and out. Is everyone ready? Fasten your seat belts. Lifting off. Oh and thanks for fixing my shuttle. Medical officer's log. I am going to have a look around. I need to stretch my legs a little. Is this the real professor? Then the girls are in danger. Let's see if I can figure this thing out. 
Hello child. What is your name? I am Sally Jenna, of the Earth Space Fleet. What happened here? A criminal, I believe from Zeta, put me in this alien stasis device. My two crew members are in it with him. They are in danger. Try to contact them and warn them. I am sorry. Use every tool you have to find them. Okay you two. Go in and set the charges. Look he is taking off. What is happening? We have been tricked. We will have to walk back. Science officers note. I am studying the fossils in this rock and also the unusual life forms literally growing from rocks. This appears to be a plant adaptation, maybe allowing these strange plants to extract water and nutrients directly from the rock. Jake how have you been doing? Find anything interesting like I did not know. I am glad you two are back. Some of the life forms here are astonishing. Look at these things literally growing from the rock. This could make a good area to set up camp. I would like to do some more exploring first though. How did your meeting with the Martians go? We got a good idea of how ruthless the enemy is. It was the Zorkons who took down the Martian civilization. Let's head back up to the station. I don't feel comfortable knowing that communications have been cut off. Well, I'm our thanks to Mars. And to borrow a phrase from Star Trek, now it's time to pay for the suit. Now, specifically, why don't you look at this rock? We'll zoom in a little bit. There's a number of different uh, obvious fossil fossils in this. The left arrow is pointing at some something. I'm not really sure. It's, what it would be, but it's not, it's obviously was caused at some point by something dying and getting impressed in this rock. And then all the two you can see these circular indentations. These, this isn't a good photo, there are others that are much better than this. Um, and there's a bunch of, you know, these circular depressions and such. In this rock that um, are obvious fossils and I hate to have to say this but the more obvious evidence the more it's ignored and that's just not right this is uh, just blatant blatant proof that there was life on Mars there is today too I believe well, it's not a belief. I've seen the uh, plants. I used a little drawing tool. I originally used Windows Paint on this. You can see the striations, and that's, you know, it's natural, but it's an obvious. Obviously, we're looking at fossils. If this was on Earth, no one would even question it was fossils. But because it's Mars, nope, 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 can't be fossils. We have to ignore the evidence now. We're going to find those microbes, so it's all balderdash, folks. And, of course, our character Jake Soma is going to go over this with us, so... We'll get back to we'll get back to the show here. 
I'm not promising not to do this again. I probably will. Like I said, it's time to pay for the soup. They put this out for free. I'd like you to watch these presentations and go over this stuff. It's vital the public knows that there was and is life on that planet. Because they have no right to withhold this information from the public. They have no right to sit there and lie, say they're looking for microbes. Why do I say they have no right to? Because it's a crime. It's called embezzlement. It's misappropriation of funds, alright? This is why. They're saying they're looking for microbes and they have obvious evidence of life. And they're ignoring it. And that's misappropriation of funds. The same type of thing that goes on in the medical community. Ha you know, they want money for this, they want money for that, but they'll never find a cure. It's misappropriation of funds. Only this is public money we're talking about. Now back to the show. Uh, Jake Soma has some things to say. Thanks for watching. Hello Heather, how has everything been? Matt, I am scared for our girls down on the earth. We have not heard from them. I know. We are going to try everything we can to establish some kind of communication. Missy, what is the status of calling the Earth team? Matt, it has been useless. I have tried every communication band and gotten no response. Try full sweeps of the whole electromagnetic band even into the X-ray area. Look for any anomaly. Could it be the temporal device? Okay, I will. In my opinion, it is not the temporal device but rather jamming at the source. I think I will have a laser rigged up and pointing directly at where they landed. Maybe that will get their attention. you to get on the table nice and easy. The real professor is up above with a rifle pointed at you so don't try anything funny. Crazy girl. What have you done to me? What was that? Don't be such a baby. You seem to have a difficult time telling people the truth so I gave you a drug that will help you tell the truth for a change. Now let's start with what you wanted and who you are. 
What are you after and why? My name is Bongo. I come from the planet Zeta. When I saw your ship I knew it suited my needs as a prospector. A prospector for what? What are you talking about? In this timeline resources have never been used so there are tons of metal and other things I can sell and then live comfortably on. What did you do with my friends? If you have harmed them I will make you regret it. I let them out about three miles south of here. They don't have any weapons though I think one of them has a gadget of some kind. I am a prospector, not a killer. Well you are going into stasis until we can send you back to Zeta to stand trial. Okay I want you to tell me where the jamming is coming from. I know you are doing it. There is a program on the shuttle that is called Scramble. Just close it out and your communications will be normal. Well isn't this great? We are stuck out here on a planet that we are not familiar with facing wild beasts and no way to call for help. Well... Take a look at that animal. What is it? Does that device have anything on it? It says that it is a woolly mammoth, extinct in the other timeline. Its temperament is unknown but its genus features aggressive, territorial behavior. Let's stay away from that thing. We need to start walking. Remember that the animals in this timeline have never seen humans so their behavior may be different than we expect. Well at least we know what that animal was. 
It seems deer are just as afraid of us in this timeline. We need to avoid these sharp things on the plants. They hurt. That cat keeps following us. We are in trouble. 
We need to keep moving slowly away and hope we can lose it. We are getting close to the compound. I know it hurts, but hide in here and maybe the cat will lose interest. Can anyone hear me? Sally open the gate.
help I have been bitten. Jill help me. What happened? What bit you? Can you tell me? It was some kind of poisonous reptile I think. It hurts and I feel sick. I will have you two inside in a minute and we will take care of that snake bite. What can you do to help? We have no poisonous reptiles on Cygnus B. People used to die from these bites all the time, but that was then and this is now. If you will excuse me, I need to work. Patient has received injection of snake venom, a strong neurotoxin. Inject 5 cc's type 5 antitoxin and begin tissue regeneration. All better but you need to rest for a while. I will regenerate Jill as well. It is the station calling. I am sending a response that we are all right. Now that you are ready to go, here is my battle plan. I will take my old fighter out over the lake and draw the ship off. I will do as much damage as I can. You head for the tower and the ship will head toward you. Blow it out of the sky. Will you be all right? I wonder if your ship can take the beating. She is an award winner. Now after the fight I am headed back to Artura so I will say goodbye now. Won't you consider staying at Mars Station? It would help us out having an adult with us. Sorry child I cannot do that, but I will talk to the government about sending help your way. Good luck.
Commander's Lock The criminal who abandoned us is headed to Zeta to stand trial, and Professor Starnes is headed to Arcturus. We have been in contact with the station so they know we are headed back. All is well, though our primary objective has not been reached. At least we can say that we won a victory over the Zorkons. <laughs>